Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we had a question on one of our previous videos and somebody was asking for a scroll effect that when you scroll up a section that's hidden will appear and stick to the top. Really easy to do. If I roll down this page when we get towards the top a little section is going to zoom in there and stick to the top. When we roll back down it's going to disappear out again go back to where it was. Really easy to do, there's no extra coding involved in this today, we're just using the inbuilt scroll effects of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started, really easy to do. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Now let's roll on down and we'll actually get rid of our section that we've got here. Which is right there. Okay, well I'm going to start by adding a new section. Make it a regular section. Now inside our section you can put whatever you want to put in there. I'm just going to put an icon, a bit of text and a button. Obviously depending on what feature you want on yours you can put in what you like. So I'm just going to pop in an icon. That's fine. Now we'll just throw in a call to action over here. Not going to use a button on it just because it's got to delete some of this text. In fact, I don't even need that much. There we go. I'm going to take that background away. It'll disappear into our, our background there. That's fine. Hit the little trash can. And over on the right hand side, let's pop in a little button and there we go obviously put your button link in the link below and as always best practice if you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window if you're linking to somebody else's site open it in a new tab so that your site stays open okay well let's just make that button the regular blue I'm going to go over to design and button and you can use custom styles for your button have a look at our styling buttons videos if you're not sure how to do that I'm just going to simply change that to the default blue fact, I'm going to do that for all of our things that we got going over here title on body text I'm going to make that blue body text blue you can see it under there Let's make our icon blue. Again, just going over to the design tab, to the icon. There we go. Now I'm going to give our row a dark background here. So it's blue tab for a section, green tab for a row, dark tab for a module. I'm going to go into the row. For simplicity, I'm going to give mine a dark background there. Okay. And I want to take any padding away top and bottom, then we'll align our little modules so they're all in a straight line. So to take away the padding, I'm going to go to design, spacing, I'll put a zero in top and bottom there. Just put the zero in, it'll put the picks in for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom for you. Okay. And let's just pull this up a little bit more. If we hover over, you can see the outline. So that's got that much space, and this has got that much space so I need to pull the space up on our middle one there just to shrink it up a bit now let's add a bit to the top of here and I'm simply left clicking on the actual module itself to change the padding on the front end here this one I'm going to go in and we'll do margin on this button so I'm in the button gone to design I'm going to go to spacing let's try 25 pixels not quite enough, or about 35. That's okay. And it looks like our writing could go up just a little bit there. There we go, something like that. Let's just add a tiny little bit more so we've got everything fairly central. Great. That button wants to go in the middle also. Design, alignment. And let's give it an icon all the time, shall we? So go into the button, custom styles, down to icon, 
Let's give it that little arrow. I want it to be there all the time. If you don't want an icon, flip that little switch to off. If you want it to be there all the time, only show icon on hover for button. Switch that to no. And there we go. Great. Okay, now I actually want to make this row full width. So let's go back into our row. Design. Sizing. Here's the width. I'm going to drag that up to 100%. I'm going to copy that. Control C. I'm going to paste it down below in the max width. Or you can just type it in there, whichever you prefer. And there we've got a full width row. Great. Let's save everything here. Now, here's our section. We can actually make the section stick to the top. And the row, we're going to have a scroll effect that sort of fades in and scales in when we get up the top there. So let's take any padding away from our section. So we've got one little strip going on there. I'm going to go into the section, the blue tab. Down to spacing on the divider. And again, I'm simply going to put a zero in there for the top. Hit the chain for the bottom. Fantastic. Great. Okay, well, let's go back into our roll, row and create the scroll effect. So back into the green tab for the row. I'm going to go over to advanced and scroll effects is right on the bottom here. Now what I wanted to do is scale in, in other words, get start off really small and then get normal size. So I'm going to click on scaling up and down, turn this on. And I actually want it to be 0% hundred percent only when it gets up to about eighty percent of the screen so this is the top of the screen it's going to scale in more but I want it to be zero percent all the way up to about a little bit lower than that let's say ninety percent and let's take this up to seventy so it's going to be 0% until we get 70% up of the page. Then at 90%, let's make that actually 80%. It's going to be full width. There we go. And then it's going to, we want to make it stick to the top. But also, I don't really want to see it fading in too much like that. So we're going to use bit of fade in and out so I'm going to click on that one turn the switch on and again don't really want it to be visible up until about 85% say and we'll have it start fading in from about 75% there we go so up until 75% it'll be invisible 85% it should be fully visible and as you can see when I scroll in it's disappearing when it gets down to 75 percent so it's as if it wasn't there scroll up and it's going to appear for us like that obviously adjust yours if you want it started to start appearing in before that take this down a bit lower now it's starting to fade in at 70 percent great well now we need to get it to stick to the top and we're not actually going to do that on the row, so we're done with our row. Let's save our changes here. We'll go back into the section, the blue tab. We're going to go over to advanced and down to scroll effects again. And we're going to make it sticky. And you can have it stick to the top, the bottom, or the top and the bottom. That won't do as much good because we won't be able to see it when it's down at the bottom. Or that one. So I'm going to have mine stick to the top. Now when we roll up, it's going to fade in. Once it gets to just below the menu there, it's going to stick. Then when we roll back down, it's going to fade out, disappear as if it was never there. So let's save our changes. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. When I roll up, Here's our little sticky hidden section flowing in there. Sticks to the top. Go in there, hit the button, whatever you want to do. 
when we roll back down it disappears back out of sight so there you go guys there's to have a hidden sticky section appear on scroll like I say really easy to do nice little feature to have on your site so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips.com thanks for watching have a great day